What's up, everybody? Jeff Cross here. You can contact me at jeffcross22 at gmail.com. If you got any questions, comments, or concerns, jeffcross22 at gmail.com. All right, here we go. Uh, I want to talk about a few things here today. Um, this might go a little longer than five minutes. We'll see. But um, everyone needs to realize that there are going to be multiple changes throughout the year no matter what um it's it's just a way of the business and officiating um you know just uh, this week i was scheduled to be at one place it was going to take me uh, about uh, two hours to get to and then got changed where it's going to take me four hours to get to and have to drive through the snow so that those changes are going to happen the question is, how are you going to handle those changes? Are you going to accept those changes um, and just go? Or are you going to like overthink it and say, I wonder why I'm getting changed? Um, we can't do that. It's a dangerous, dangerous th mindset to be in when you get a change and go, hmm, wonder what's, wonder, I wonder if something happened or I wonder if, uh, you know, something that I, that I did that's causing this change. That is what I call self-doubt. You cannot doubt yourself. This is a business that requires a lot of changes and also requires a lot of confidence in your ability in order to get on the floor. So when you get changed from 30 minutes to the house to four hours from the house, you cannot start getting in your head wondering, hmm, wonder what I did. It's just a bad spot to be in. You can't referee very well. Um, I know this for a fact. If you're not doing well, you will be told you're not doing well, okay? This business is very dangerous in that way. We don't necessarily tell people when they're doing good. Um, that Those typically don't come from coordinators or bosses or whatever it is. Those are going to come from your peers, okay? So just because there's been a change doesn't mean that things are bad. It just means there's a change. That's all. And you can't do it any other, you can't think about it any other way. You can't spend the next 24 hours wondering why you got changed, what happened, or whatever it is. Just go do. Just go do it and then let the chips fall where they may because you have to trust in your confidence into officiating and you got to trust that you know you are doing what's right. And coordinators don't really need hassles of why am I changed, what, you know, what. You know, what's the reason for that? That's what they call hassles, and they don't want to have to deal with hassles. So just go do it. Be done. Okay? All right. So I heard a couple things this week, and I want to share those with you. Um, I have a number of them. I'm going to try and relate them all to officiating into our uh, officiating world. So um, first thing is dealing with getting changes. Life's not easy. It's not Okay, it's just, uh, you know, when we have that 30-minute drive and we get changed to a four-hour drive, life's not easy. But you've chosen this profession. You've chosen to do this and you want to do this. Um, the other thing that I thought was important is, is the approach is more important than the destination. So how you approach those games and how you approach whether you have a 30-minute drive or a four-hour drive is way more important than the actual destination that you're trying to achieve. So have a good approach to that. Have a good approach to those game changes or have a good approach to, the, to that game assignment. Have a good approach to um, whether you get postseason or not in postseason. It doesn't make any difference. you got to change. you got to, That approach on how you do that is way more important than that destination. Um Here's another thing too, you know, it has to do with, with the game assignments is we are trying our, oh, I'm sorry, we try our best, but we don't always do our best. You know, when we go on the floor and we miss calls, yeah, we're trying our best, but we don't always do our best. Um, you have a, a basket or baseball player that uh, typically bats 500 and um, that day he doesn't bat very well or that month he doesn't bat very well. He's still trying his best. He just hasn't been able to do his best. So, and then um, this is another one I think is kind of fun. You know, unbelievable is a stupid word. Unbelievable. I I just got changed from a game that I was thirty minutes away to four hours away. That is unbelievable. Uh, believe it. It just happened. Believe it. I just 
made a, a block charge call and I called it a block and it was 100% correct. Unbelievable. Uh-uh. Believable. You just did it. So let's stay away from the word unbelievable. It's very much believable. We say that for stuff that we actually just saw happen. We just saw it and we go, it's unbelievable. What's so unbelievable about it? It just happened. So I thought that was interesting. And here's the, the last thing I want to say is most things are rewarding when you break a sweat to get them. When you travel four hours through the snow and you get back home safely, how rewarding is that that you did it? You had to work hard to do it. It's, it's so important to know that all the work we're doing and when we have a successful game or we have a successful schedule or we have a successful postseason schedule, it, when we get those rewards, knowing that we worked hard to do them, we had to drive four hours or whatever it was. We had to take multiple quizzes. Um, it It's so much more rewarding when you had to break a sweat to do it. So um, I think it's uh, it's it's amazing venture that we have. And I don't... Um, I don't want anyone to get discouraged because they think they're getting moved. I don't want anybody to get discouraged because they think they're not getting the assignment that they want to. Just remember, you know, the approach is way more than a destination. And your destination is, you know, wherever, whatever your destination is, we don't care. Just have a good approach to it and you will arrive at that destination before you know it. So, all right, y'all. I hope you guys have a great week. Um, it's almost over. It's We almost got this. Uh, and just keep plugging away five minutes at a time you know you got one more game in you you got five more minutes in you whatever it is keep plugging and have a great approach and remember guys as always do hard things talk to you soon